Right, so to set up BGB for speedrunning Oracle of Ages or Seasons, you first want to open your browser of choice and then type in BGB emulator. And the first result should give you the correct site for BGB, which is this one right here. I'll leave a link in the description of the video if you can't find it. Um, you want to click on download below and download the latest version, which at the time of uh, making this video is 1.5.9. So just download it, and you have to unzip it somewhere, so just make a folder somewhere. Um, just kind of do it on my disk for now. Put all the contents into the folder. Open up the folder, and you should have a folder with all the contents right here. So you want to open up BGB EXE, because that's the emulator itself. And here you have it, this is BGB. So there's a few different settings you can configure here by right-clicking the emulator. Um, most of these aren't really worth going into too much, um, but changing the window size might be kind of nice since it's so small by default. Personally, I like to use 5x5, five five, but you can change it however you like. Um, so I'll just do it like this for now. And right, so you want to go into Options, and um, one of the biggest questions I've heard uh, when using this emulator is how to actually uh, set up the BIOS file. You know, like the thing that makes you have the Game Boy startup screen. So, um, in our case, uh, since we're running Oracle of Seasons and Ages, or if you're running any game on the Game Boy Color, you want a GBC boot ROM. So, simply click here, and you're going to want to find your GBC boot ROM file. Uh, which I have in a bootrams folder, which is right here. So yeah, GBC BIOS. Um, due to legal reasons, I'm not really allowed to share this directly, but you should be able to find a link to it just by googling GBC BIOS and yeah, just finding a download link like that. It's not really that difficult. So you want to put that here, and then you're gonna check bootrams enabled. Um, and another thing you, uh, I highly encourage you to do if you're running these games on emulator and doing actual attempts is to go on MISC and uh, apply speedrun mode as well. Because this is going to show like a checksum um, when you boot or hard reset a game. Which basically just tells us that your version of the game is the legitimate game and not some like kind of hack with modifications. But anyway, so you want to click apply once you've applied these things. Uh, and then you're going to want to restart the emulator, so just reboot it like this. And now if you boot uh, Oracle of Seasons, for example, let's do that. Um, just Japanese version here. So you see, you get the Game Boy screen, and... Um, if I reset the Game Boy, you see this checksum here, and that just basically tells us as moderators that you have the correct version of the game, and it's not some shady, like, bootleg or anything uh, unofficial or anything. Um, there's other options you can configure, of course, um, regarding your joypad, which is your controls, uh, graphics, sound, and whatnot, but I'll leave that to you to figure out. Um, since it can be highly dependent on each individual person. So, other than that, uh, there's not much else to it. So, good luck.